back to my channel it's your girl Kudus Lake Queen thank you so much for tuning in if you're new welcome and remember to click that subscription button down there and the notification bell also so that every time I upload my video you're going to be the first person to know so let's get started today's makeup tutorial is a one brand makeup tutorial I've actually do series of one brand before but I have not done anything with wet and wild so I put everything together and I come up with some you know product of wet and wild that I can get so today I'm gonna be doing the full face of wet and wild so let's get started I don't want to waste your time the first thing that I'm going to be doing today is to fill in my eyebrows I have the powder right here and I also have the stick so today I think I'm gonna be doing the stick because I don't want too much of it so but I will be using the the bro gel right here this white one right here I'm gonna be applying that onto my eyebrows just to put my eyebrows in place as you all know I've used this um, eyebrow gel so many times and this is what it looks like we have the it has the brush and also it's like a retracting pencil so I'm gonna be brushing up my eyebrows with the brush then this is what the pencil look like hold me close till I get up time is barely out of my side So the next thing, after filling in my eyebrows with that eye pencil, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is to conceal my eyebrows. I don't really know about this concealer because I've had this for a little while now, and but I'm not. I don't use it all the time. So and it's kind of like a little lighter than my skin. So I'm going to improvise and use something different. I'm use. Uh, I'm gonna use my Elegant Pro concealer and. Uh, but I will use this for the bottom of my eyebrows, but I will use a Elgo Pro Concealer or maybe not. I'm just gonna try and make use of the whole of wet and wild that I have today because this is all wet and white. Okay guys, this, this I'm looking so weird right now, but I am going to blend it out. I won't do anything else to my face with this because this is ridiculous. This is like two, like 500 shade lighter than my skin tone. So I'm just going to blend it out and see what it looks like. <laughs> Look at me. This is terrible. Okay guys, I think I'm going to have to go in with my Elegant Pro Concealer because, you know, can you guys see how ashy that is? That line is like seriously, like it's totally white under my eyebrows, which is really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and use my Elegant Pro Concealer to blend it all out. Okay guys, I think it looks a little better now when I use my Elegant Pro Concealer, you know, to blend it all out so the next thing that I'm going to be doing is to apply my eyeshadow and white concealer that is too light because I like a lighter shade of concealer as my base before applying my eyeshadow that is done the next thing that I'm going to be doing is to apply my eyeshadow so today I'm gonna to be using the wet and wild coloric not a basic peach eyeshadow palette
past my reflection Thinking about what you mentioned It was supposed to be the one to take Every last pain away Nothing on our loving Maybe time told us that we were different Did it break you down? So guys, the all eyeshadow thing has been applied. I think I like the way the eyeshadow blends all together to my eyes. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing now is to apply my eyeliner. So as you all know, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black now. So now that the eyeliner has been applied, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to apply my mascara. So I'm going to be using the the Wet n Wild Boost Lens mascara and this is in C115. So now after the mascara now it's time to you know work with the face so today I'm gonna be using the wet and well makeup locker BB cream and it says the it's a three-in-one BB cream highlighter and corrector so there it is right here and I think this is the this is the foundation of the BB cream right here and here's the spatula this is the first time I'm using this and uh, also there is uh, the highlighter and the corrector right here right but first and foremost I will be using my wet and wild photo focus face primer matte The next thing that I'm going to be doing is to spray my face because I always like to apply my primer, my face primer, and then spray my face. So I'm gonna be using the Wet and Wild Focus Photo Focus Wet and Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. After that, I'm going to be using the corrector, this one right here, just for my under eye. I just want to see how it looks like.
going in into the foundation I am not going to be using the the spatula because I don't I don't like it so I'll be using my brush I'm gonna dip into it and this is in the shade 178A deep intense deep so that is that After that, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to conceal my face and I'll be using this wet and well again to see if it's going to like, you know, just a little bit. Oh my god, we don't want to go in too much because this is too light for my skin. I, I, I just, I just want to use all the product that I got for, you know, wet and well. I don't want to like, you know, skip anyone if you know what I mean so after the concealer I'm the con the thing is the concealer is lighter than my shade but it's blend in so perfectly if you guys can see real clear that it doesn't even look like it's lighter than my shade but it's really light than my shade but the blending is great it's awesome in terms of blending it's really really good so even if the shade is lighter than your shade as far as the concealer it's able to blend in well then you are okay you're good so now the next thing that i'm going to be doing is to contour my face i didn't have anything to contour my face with from wet and wild so i'm going to be using my elegant pro concealer in toast to contour my face oh no hold on guys i think i do have something right here i have this um wet and wild makeup stick contour stick i'm sorry guys I'm way out of my hair so this is it and this is in the shade 806 where it's walnut I'm gonna be using that to contour Dried out tears of sorrow, lacking all emotion, staring down the barrel waiting for the final gates to the contour shade that I get is not that dark it just says walnut but it's not like a deep one because I like my contour to be deep so I'm gonna be going in with my you know pro concealer in toast so the next thing that I'm going to be doing after that is to set my face and I'm gonna be using the wet and white photo focus face powder and this is in deep I actually have uh, two of these I don't know where the other one is but you know I'm gonna be using this to set my face <laughs> So now the setting powder, we need to talk about that. This sh I, I got two shades actually, but this shade that I try to use, I've actually used the lighter shade before, but this one, this is the first time that I'm using it, so I'm just giving it a try. And uh, I feel like it's a little dark, 
because I like my setting powder, you know, light, so it can give me a little more light under my eyes and uh, everywhere that I apply it to. But we're gonna go with that. What I'm gonna be doing is to, you know, apply a little bronzer to my face, and I'm gonna be using the Wet and White Colorican Bronzer, and this is in the shade 743B. What shade it be? Bitches. So now that the bronzer has been applied, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to blend a little eyeshadow to my bottom lash. So I'm going to be going in into the same eyeshadow that I get and just, you know, apply a little thing to my under eye because we don't want to leave the eye so plain. After applying the eyeshadow to my bottom lash, to my bottom lash, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is to line my waterline, and I'm going to be using the Wet and Wear Color Recon Co Eyeliner. I'm going to be applying a little mascara to my bottom lash. Sing to your heart to find you. Open up your eyes till you're blinded by the lies. So you can. So now that that is done, now I am going to spray my face with some, you know, setting spray. And I'll be using two Wet n Wild setting spray. Ooh. So the first setting spray that I'm going to be using is the, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. I'm going to be applying that first. And then I will let that sit on on my face for a little bit. And then with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. Ooh. Now the next thing that I'm going to be doing is to apply my highlighter. Then I'll be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. So now that the highlighter has been applied, the whole thing has been done, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to apply my blush and I'm going to be using the the Wet n Wild Color Recon Rose Champagne and this is in the 326B. So after the blush, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is to, you know, fill in my lips. So I'm going to be using the Wet and Wild, what is this? Wet and Wild Color Recon Lip Liner, and this is in the 711 Chestnut. After applying the lip liner, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is to apply my lip color and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Megalized Liquid Cut Suit Matte Lipstick. And this is in the shade 925B Give Me Marker. So 
now I'm gonna be applying this color this lighter color and this is in the 922B Cora Corruption I'm just gonna be applying that to the middle of my lid just For your really matte lipstick please go for wet and white cut suit lip liner lip color because this lip i've used i've actually used this so many times and every time i use it for eight hours it's still on it no matter what i eat no matter what i do with my lips it's still going to be there i don't know how long it's going to be there but i've ke actually kept it for eight hours and it's totally there so I'm definitely going to say 24 hours is gonna be on your on your lips so right now the next thing that I wanted to do sometimes I don't like applying too much lip on my lips because it makes it scratch so I'm going to apply a little lip gloss onto it so that I can have a little gloss So guys this is the final look i hope you guys like it and if you do please give this video a thumbs up and i think i really like the whole of the product that i use even the one that are too light the one that are too dark they all come through to my skin i actually make it work and i blend it all and everything you know looks perfect i like the eyeshadow i like the foundation the bb cream it's actually vanish foundation if you're the kind of person that doesn't want too much of makeup too much of every foundation on your face I think this BB cream from Wet n Wild is actually good. So I'm gonna try and put the whole list of all the products that I used in this video. I'll put it down at the description box for you guys in case you wanna check it out. So you can go ahead and, and go ahead and check it out. And also, thank you so much for watching this video and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Click the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Go, yeah. Go, hey, yeah. Go, yeah. Go, yeah.